So uh, today I'm going to talk something about the, the log, type, log type work I have been working on, which basically help the developer to detect the uh, data log uh, which caused by the uh, recursive, read, recursive read logs. So let's begin. Uh, this is today's agenda. So I'm, uh, I'm pretty, uh, I, I will begin with some, go through some uh, normal knowledge of log type and data logs and then we'll jump into the uh, different flavors of read and write logs. And then uh, I will talk more about the, the data log case that's specified to read write logs. And then I, I I'll talk about how uh, we can detect that in log type. Okay, so um, the first thing is very easy. Um, I assume all you already know that. Uh, there, are, there are two uh, classic data log cases. Uh, the first one is the self data log, which means you once the P0 grab a log A, uh, if it, if it grab, try to grab the log A again, and it will, it will uh, self data log, data log, sorry, self data log. And the other problem, the next problem is uh, what we call ABBA data log, is that um, in, uh, if the CPU, if, if the P0 has acquired log A, and uh, P1 has acquired log B, and uh, both of them cannot, uh, need, either of them cannot get uh, processed because uh, uh, they wait for each other and they cannot get, res and they can not get the resource. So this is just very basic data log. Um, another interesting uh, data log is we call uh, IRQ safe and safe data log, uh, which basically the similar if you Sync in a way, so it's like uh, for for example the the left one. Uh, sorry, the the left one is that uh, if you grab a log, grab log A, which can be tr can be uh, acquired in an IRQ handler without IRQ disabled, di disabled, you will get a dead log. It's basically like the IRQ uh, pros the IRQ. Uh, uh, the IRQ handler ha put the, the second uh, SB log in, into your code. It's basic, you can think like, like, like that way. So uh, in the log type, they are the same. Uh, like, uh, they are the same uh, from the point view of log type, they are the same thing, I mean. Uh, and uh, the, uh, the right one is that a uh, uh, slight uh, com complex uh, example. So um, it, it, yeah, it's basically like you can, you write the code. You, you can see that this example is, uh, uh, is similar to the uh, previous example of ABBA data log. So it's basically that you have some, uh, you grab some uh, lo log A, uh, on, and uh, there is another log B, which can, c which can be grabbed in the uh, RQ handler. And in another process, you grab that with accurate disabled, and uh, after the P0, grab lock A, and there is an interrupt, and uh, you know, the P0 and P1 got uh, locked up. So yes, it's just like the RQ brings more like code combinations, so that it, uh, my point is that it's similar to the previous example, so it just uh, uh, happens uh, specifically for the RQ scenario. So also, yeah, the, the logs involved in the log type can be uh, extend, uh, like for three, three logs or four logs, uh, to take this example. So um, yeah, P0 take, uh, consider a case that P0 take log A, P1 take log B, and the P2 take log C, and, uh, and nobody can move, yeah. So, okay, so there, these are, uh, data logs, and uh, we have a uh, internal uh, runtime data log, data log uh, possibility detector, uh, which is called logdap. And uh, the logdap, uh, one thing to notice is that, is that the logdap are uh, uh, treated logs as uh, different classes. Now, now uh, so what I want to say is that uh, in the logdap, uh, uh, in, in the detection of log type, 
uh, there is no uh, thing like a single lock instance because in that way uh, there may be many locks, many, many lock in instances in the kernel. So in, if the lock type track every uh, lock instance, there will be uh, uh, there will be uh, many a, a lot of memory to take. So lock type only uh, only um, um, deal with the uh, lock class. And the lock class, you can see, you can think is like a, a group of locks, which, for example, the uh, the task lock and uh, the, um, um, uh, the, uh, the task lock and the, the scheduler, the, the scheduler lock, the run queue per, per run queue lock, and the most of the deadlock happens when you combine combine different uh, uh, sub module uh, together. Oh, sorry, sorry, subsystem together. So uh, only deal by the uh, lock class would be uh, enough to detect uh, most of the lock that, uh, that lock cases. Uh, but uh, there, are, there are sure there are some data lock cases uh, uh, involved with two lock uh, instances we uh, belong into the same data, same uh, lock classes. Uh, in that way, lock lab has to use some other trick to to detect de to detect that. And uh, there is. Uh, a uh, key, con key concept in LockDap, which we call uh, lock dependency, and it's basically uh, consider a code uh, on P0, and if, uh, if, if P0, uh, if there is a, sorry, if P0 take a lock A first, and it take, then take lock B, and uh, there will be a lock dependency called A from B, and uh, basically the lock dependency is uh, tricking, uh, tracking that uh, uh, whether a uh, Program or uh, in the system or CPU has uh, a acquire lock in a certain uh, sequence. So the whole dependency uh, forms like a form a dependency graph, and uh, that is basically the main data structure that LockDap used to uh, detect that lock. Okay, so um, the the detection of that lock is. Uh, it's kind of easy. Uh, it's just if uh, we 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 learn about the dependency graph and uh, the lock the algorithm for data lock detection in LockDap is simply find out the circle in the uh, dependency graph. So uh, uh, so why why is it, why, why is it enough? Uh, you can think this 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 graph and uh, it. So we have a dependency from A to B, which means uh, there will be P0, uh, which has acquire A, and uh, then acquire B. And we have a dependency from B to C, which means there are P1, uh, acquire B first, and then acquire C. And uh, we have a dependency from C to A, which means we have another thread uh, called P2, acquire C, and uh, then acquire A. So it's basically like the A, B, uh, B, C, C, A problem we, uh, we Covered in the previous slides. Okay, so so much for LockDap. So much for the LockDap, uh, and it has been working very well until there are some. Until we want to uh, detect more deadlocks. So um, I'm going to uh, introduce a little bit of the different flavors of read write locks. Uh, there are two different flavors. One is called recursive or unfair, uh, unfair write uh, double locks. Uh, um, which basically uh, um, the the readers are more uh, uh, the the logs prefer to readers. So think of this example: uh, if there is a first reader called R uh, called R1, uh, grab that logs, and then come uh, another writer called W1, and uh, uh, at this time the W1 cannot get the log, and then there is another reader called R2 comes along and. Uh, uh, because the the logs uh, prefer to readers, so R2 can get logs. Uh, so 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 that's why the R2 is green. And um, there are another read uh, read write logs which called uh, non recursive read log of fairness. Because in, in the previous uh, in the uh, recursive read read write logs, the there will be a situation that the writers got starvation because there may be Continuous uh, readers come so that the writers may not get a chance to to get the lock, and so um, we have the thing called the uh, fair 
read log, our queued read log, uh, which uh, has a different scenario uh, in uh, for the previous uh, uh, for the previous uh, sequence. Uh, so uh, we can take uh, the so if if the R1 take the log and R and W1 come, uh, W1 still get blocked and then uh, R2 come and because of fairness and W uh, R2 cannot get the log even if uh, even it is a reader, and uh, there is a re another reader holding the log. So, but uh, if there is no W1 and uh, R1, R, R2 just come, uh, it will get the log. So this is the difference between uh, fairness and uh, fair and unfair read, uh, read write log. So this is a summary. Uh, so uh, both of the, uh, it's a read write log, so both of them uh, allowed multiple readers, and uh, but, um, and uh, you know, the, uh, it's called recursive read log, so it allows recursive uh, critical section, and uh, non-recursive read log doesn't allow the recursive uh, critical section because that way it will become a dead log. So for example, like this case, uh, there is no way, uh, uh, there are one and are two, maybe the same process, so once the so, to, so once the R, once the process gets the log at R1, and it want to, uh, you know, in enter a nested of recursive uh, reader uh, read correct section, it will get a log. Uh, it will get a kind of like the self that log. So um, another way to thinking to think the recursive and non-recursive behavior is that. Uh, the recursive uh, data log, re, sorry, the recursive read log cannot get blocked by, an, by another reader. But however, the non-recursive read log can get blocked by an, another reader. And uh, I call it get blocked via a waiting writer. So like the previous uh, case, uh, because if there is no W1, the R1, R2 will not get blocked. Okay, so anyone have any question here? Cool, let's go through, uh, let, let, let's move on. Uh, so uh, basically there is another summer, uh, summary for the block condition. Uh, so uh, it's like the, uh, the recursive readers can get blocked by writers, can only get blocked by writers. But the non-recursive readers can get blocked by both uh, non-recursive readers, other non-recursive readers, or via uh, waiting writers, or by writers. Uh, the, the below is the matrix. So uh, we will use that uh, block condition for deadlock detec detection algorithm. Um, so, um, so since we have um, uh, those uh, read write logs, so we have different, uh, we have more data log cases. And uh, for the non recursive read write log, uh, it's same as the uh, spin log, uh, since that we know that uh, a reader can block another reader, which basically, like a spin log, can block another spin log. So this, this, so this case is a data log. It's the, similar to the ABBA data log. Uh, so, uh, uh, the P2 may be a, a irre irrelevant uh, uh, task that, you know, because that comes after the P0 grabbed log A as a reader, as a reader log, and so that uh, the reader log on P2 cannot get the, the log. Okay, so everybody can, I, I think everybody can understand this, this example, right? Okay. Cool, but uh, for the recursive logs, things get interesting. Oh, this is obvious, not a uh, data log, right? Because, um, uh, you know, um, even if R P, P0 and P1 get, uh, P0 get A and P1 get B, and P1 still can get A because it's a non-recursive read log, and uh, even if there is another waiting writer, there, uh, P1 could still get log. Okay, so, but this is the log, right? Because uh, the, the write log on P1 will block by the read log on P0. 
Um, so it's, it's the, the two cases have the same, uh, has a similar graph, but uh, result in different situations. So that means we have to extend the log depth to, to, to be able to process this. Um, and when and things maybe get more complicated, when we have, in, because in the kernel, our Q read, read read lock is not pure, it's, it's neither a pure, pure, oh, sorry, pure non-recursive read lock or no, the recursive read lock. It's a non-recursive read lock in the process context, but it's a recursive read lock in the hierarchical context. So things got uh, interesting. And um, there is a there is a case for this, for for, for what I mean. Uh, so this case this is this is a deadlock, and uh, so because the p p what uh, p zero is in uh, RQ handler, so that the read lock on p zero is a recursive read lock, and uh, the p and the the and after P1 acquire B and uh, P, sorry, after P0 acquire B and P1 acquire A, and uh, the, if there is a, uh, another P2 uh, waiting for B, uh, that will block the read lock on P1, right? Because the read lock on P1 is a non-recursive, is a fair read lock, okay? But uh, if we change the case, uh, switch the, Read lock, uh, read lock, spin lock on P0 and P1. This is not dead lock. Uh, the thing is that uh, since the the read lock on P0 is a unfair read lock, so it can it has it has the fast path to uh, get the P to sorry to get to get B and uh, you know make progress. So, um, yeah, sure. Um, so, it, so just in the recursive case, right? I was I was trying to trying to look at so the the write lock on P two that has to be there for this deadlock to happen, um, right? So yeah, that that's a good question. So for I think for lock depth we so. So this is just a case where we can have a deadlock. And uh, for lock depth, it must uh, assume that any, anything can happen. So, it's, so the, from the point of view of lock depth, it's, it doesn't see the P2, but it must assume that P2 can happen any, uh, at any time after someone uh, acquired a, a read lock. Okay. Thank you, that's a good question, yeah. So, um, so we find some limitation for log depth. Uh, so because that in log depths, uh, in, in the current log depth, uh, circles means deadlocks, but as we can see in the, foreign, in, in, the, in the previous examples that not all the circles are uh, 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 deadlock. So for example, like this one is not, not a deadlock. And uh, we try to make sure we can detect it recursive deadlocks. There are three goals we want to do. Uh, first, we want to make sure that the good old uh, lock type uh, detection is still working. And uh, we want to handle the, the semantics of Q, the read-write read, lock. And uh, the second, uh, the third is very important. We don't want any uh, false positives. So um, like this one, this one is not that deadlock. Uh, we, we can have a very easy way to detect this one. This one is a deadlock, but uh, it would be uh, introduce a false positive for this one. So we want to uh, well detect a dead deadlock, but we don't want to, um, uh, uh, we don't want to detect this as, as deadlock. So that's, that's what I mean, like uh, uh, it's not, we don't want any uh, false positives. Okay, so i um, going to give you a brief of the uh, algorithm. So first, uh, I'm going to classify the dependency. So since we know that 
uh, not all the circle, not all the dependent circles means that the log. So there must be uh, some class classification, sorry, classification for that uh, dependency. Uh, so there are, uh, depends on what well, depends on, so there are two parts of log, log dependency, uh, the tail and the head. So uh, depends on the, whether the tail is a reader, reader, a recursive reader or writer, and the tail is a reader, recursive reader or writer, there are like, uh, there are nine combinations. And uh, we can group them into four. And uh, so this is the grouping. The first one is, uh, there are, I stand for shared. Shared means readers, or whatever it's, uh, uh, it's uh, recursive readers or non-recursive readers. And uh, N is, uh, sorry, E stand for uh, exclusive. It's a writer of spin lock. And uh, N stand for non-recursive. It's, uh, uh, it's uh, the, the writers and the non-recursive readers. And R stand for recursive readers. Okay, so, um, why we can group things like this? Uh, because uh, because the in the in a log dependency, uh, so so we basically we it's, there is a uh, we treat the tail and the, the we group the tail and the group the the head in a different way. Uh, why we, we why, why we do this? Because that in a log dependency, um, the, the 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 tail and the the head has different. Uh, uh, different uh, attributes. Uh, we care about, uh, for uh, dependency A to B, we care about whether A can block anyone, and we care whether B can get blocked by anyone. So uh, remember the, our block condition. So uh, if, if a lock is a, a recursive, without, if, if the lock is R, it cannot, it can only block by a, a it can only block by an exclusive lock. So like R only blocked by E and uh, uh, R only blocked by E and uh, if, if, if it's a non-recursive read lock, it can be blocked by, uh, uh, it, it can block by any locks. So that's the way we differ things differently. So, um, okay. So anyone has any questions for this? Okay. Uh, as far as I know, uh, read write walk uh, consists of two separate uh, spin locks. Uh, one is read walk and the other one is write walk. Uh, if we are read walking A, that means it's a read write walk, right? Uh, sorry, I didn't get your question. Uh, we're talking about read write walks which yeah. are implemented uh, with underlying uh, read spin walk and underlying uh, write spin walk. Okay. So in the most cases we are read walking A, read walking or write walking A, and we are talking about spin locking the same thing. Uh, if you turn back into the slides a little bit, I think uh, that was uh, such an example. If we are speed lock, uh, spin locking, uh, read, write, walk, what exactly we're walking? I mean, spin locking, I mean, if we, if we implemented read lock by spin, that, that's your point? Uh, could you return, uh, return a little In the bit? previous one? Uh, on, on the schematics. Sorry, what, which one? Okay, uh, read log B, read log B, spin log A. One more. Okay. Uh, this one? Read log, read log, read log, spin. So one way to look at it, um, if, you, if you write lock B, B is one lock. It can either be read locked or write locked. So if, there, if you write lock it, that's the only thing that can hold it. So you could have multiple people read locking it. So, so you mean that B is just the write lock to R read lock? B is a lock. Um, it's a reader writer lock. And the semantics are you can have one writer holding it. So that's write lock is write hold it. Okay. And you can have a, a large number of readers read holding it. But if there's a reader read holding it, you can't have a writer. 
Yeah, yeah, I understand okay. that. Okay. So, so, so we're we're talking about uh, the internal structure of the we drive for. Uh, right? This is independent of that. This yeah. is the semantic level that we're yeah, talking yeah. about. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Okay. So, um. Okay. Move on. So, uh, we have different type of dependency, and uh, we a lock dependency, and we want to, uh, uh, so in, in the current, in, in the previous, uh, so in the current lock type, uh, it failed to detect those dead lock because it treat all the dependency paths as a strong condition for the dead lock. But uh, actually there are something that, there are some dependencies which is not, we, 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 which will not introduce uh, dead locks. So we call the, the, the dependency that will introduce deadlock strong, strong dependency. And um, you can think strong dependency path is like uh, chaining a block de dependency. We are the chaining lock dependency, we are uh, the block conditions. So it's like basically a blockchain. Uh, so for example, uh, the, for the dependency like from A to B and B to C. Uh, a, B, C is a strong dependency only if those three condition happens. So uh, I can explain one by one. So if B is a, uh, in the dependency A to B and B is a recursive read log and in the dependency B to C that is, uh, B is a ex ex exclusive log, uh, in that way, uh, uh, if someone holding the holding B for the second dependency, it will block the first uh, the, the the first B in the, the, the B in the first dependency. So this is so, so this why this is where we all block condition uh, works. So uh, the 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 rest uh, example are similar. So if the if the first if the, if the B in the first uh, dependency is a non-recursive lock, it will get uh, block by uh, by any. Let me see. Uh, it will block by any. Uh, so so uh, let me ex ex explain that about the notation. So the start. So there is two uh, character for the. Uh, dependency, the first one is for the head, the second one is for the tail. And the star means we don't care about that position. It can be, a, uh, it, it, it can be any type. So only, only the, the, the uh, star R and the S star will, bro will break the dependency. Because uh, that means the, in the first dependency, it's, uh, the, the tail is, uh, recursive read log, and uh, in the second dependency, the head is a share log, which means a read log, and uh, that, uh, in that way, the, the tail of the first dependency can always get log. So there is no way the second dependency will block the first dependency. So this is the way I define the strong dependency. And uh, it also works for, for Lock cases and so on. So, anyone has it? Okay. Uh, can you explain what the, uh, the mnemonic R, N, and G stand for? Uh, okay, so um, R is for recursive. Yeah. N is for non recursive. Uh, uh, okay, um, so uh, let's, let's look at this example. So, um, let's see the the first, uh, let's, let's see the, the first two groups and uh, the, the tail of the dependency, N is stand for non-recursive, non it's like, it, and so that N stand for non-recursive readers and the writers. And uh, R stand for recursive writers. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's, it's, we group through three locks into, we group three kind of lock into two groups and uh, uh, you can see the second and the third uh, dependency, and S stands for uh, share lock, means 
reader wins uh, any readers, rec recursive or not. And uh, E stands for ex exclusive lock, uh, means writers all think all uh, speed lock. So did I touch, okay. So um, yeah, with this strong dependency, we can have the condition for that locks that uh, the if the if the strong dependency form a circle, that means we have that lock. So there is a example on the right, uh, which which corresponding to the following uh, code snaps that. Uh, Okay, that that's, uh, that's, uh, that tells tells that if we have the uh, dependency graph like on the right hand, uh, and we have that log, so so you can see if the P1 graph A, P2 graph B, P uh, sorry P1 graph P0 graph A, P1 graph B, and the P2 graph C, we have a that log. So, anyone has any question for this? So, so like we uh, like I said, we de define strand dependency as the way that uh, you know really the dependency and that could block things. So uh, that means that that gives us the similar uh, uh, can deadlock condition for the uh, recursive dead, uh, uh, deadlocks. So I also have some very informal proof. We want to prove is that. Uh, a strong dependency circle is equal equivalent to the uh, dead lock possibilities. Note that the lock depth detector only detects the dead lock possibilities. It cannot, uh, uh, it's, so it's, uh, it cannot uh, make sure that the dead lock will happen. But uh, it can say, so, so it has some uh, assumption that uh, if there is a lock dependency, then the code can combination in Many many ways, so uh, we want to prove that uh, uh, a strong dependency circle is equivalent to uh, deadlock possibility. So we prove in in two 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 condition. First, we want to want to, uh, for the necessary condition uh, is that we if we have a strong dependency circle, then we may have a deadlock. And this this is easy because, uh, like like we we did previously, if we have a circle of the graph and we can, uh, so basically if we have the circle here, we can generate the code. We can convert it to a, a code snap like this, and this and you can check that that is the that is the deadlock. And uh, this one is easy. Uh, and uh, for the next one is we want to uh, prove that it's, uh, it's, uh, it's sufficient. Uh, so we want to pr prove uh, in another direction. That means if, uh, uh, the, if, we, if we have the deadlock possibility in our system that we must find, uh, we, we, there, there must exist a, a strong dependency circle. And uh, this, uh, so that means uh, this is actually uh, how we pre prevent the false positives, because uh, uh, because it's sufficient conditions. So so that if we, uh, there will be no case that there is the, the, the system doesn't have a deadlock uh, possibility, but we find a, a strong dependent circles. And uh, this I use a trick to prove that because um, I. Translate the uh, I convert the data poss possibility into the uh, circular weight condition, and uh, then I can form a, a strong dependency circle with the circular weight condition. Uh, but th this is uh, uh, I, I will have the I have some proof in my documentation, so you can look that for details. But I think that maybe one day I will come uh, try some formal uh, proof to. To prove that I didn't miss anything in the in the reasoning. Okay, uh, so the last thing is the implementation. So there is a BFS in 
Logtap is the main is the core of, of the Logtap, and uh, it used to only uh, work on uh, it, it, it used to only work on any dependency, and I make that I change that to work on a strong dependency path. Uh, there are many uh, implementation uh, detail there, and also there is um, uh, there is a uh, things called uh, chain keys, uh, which basically like uh, it's a hashi chain that record um, um, record the 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 log the logs that a process has taken for uh, for for now. So it's an optimization for log type because if if you see a if you see a log sequence is safe in previously you don't need to check that in the in the dependency graph. But uh, uh, that uh, chain didn't take, take into account of the uh, read, uh, read, uh, recursive read log. So um, we need to fix that. And also I'll, I'll add a few tests for this. And uh, also there is a very old test called RQ read recurs recursion to it's, I think it's come along with the very first commit of log type and it has been uh, comment out, uh, so I I comment that so that uh, and uh, I got the uh, expected result, and also I enable this for SRCU, so we now can use this to de detect the deadlock for SRCU, and uh, you can find the code here uh, in my uh, Git <laughs> repo and in that branch. So I have done uh, six version for upstream. And but then, then I realized I used the wrong algorithm. So the change of the algorithm is very quick, but I need to change all my documentations and the, com and the comments for that. So it, that may take a while. So um, I will try to send another version by, by the end of this year. And also, uh, if any of you want to use that, other one to try that, you can fetch that branch and uh, test that. If you find any Lock type warnings. You can email me. Uh, it either is there is my there is a bug in my code, or uh, it find a real world uh, recursive read lock, or recursive deadlock. Okay, so that's all for my topic. So I think we still have five minutes, right? Yeah, we got about six minutes. We have to take questions. Okay, so Comments? any questions? If not, let's thank our speaker. It'd be good to be able to get the locked up to deal with these combinations. Thank you. Thank you.